To find the ionic charge for lithium, that's Li, there are two ways to do it. One way, probably the easiest way, is to look at the periodic table. So the periodic table, that's organized by ionic charge, among other things. Group 1, all of these elements will have an ionic charge of 1 plus. And for ionic charge, by convention, we write the plus after the number. So for lithium, we could just write a plus up here. When we have a 1 plus, we don't need to write the number. So the ionic charge for lithium, that's 1 plus, or just plus. When it bonds to other elements, like chlorine, it'll give away an electron. When it gives it away, it becomes positive. So here's your lithium Li+. Plus. There is another way we can look at this, too. Note that the atomic number for lithium, that's 3. So it has 3 protons, and here it's a neutral element, so it has 3 electrons. Let's write the electron configuration. So the configuration for just lithium, we said that has 3 electrons. 1s2, this energy level is full, and we go to 2s. And since we only have 3 electrons, we can put a 1 here. This is the electron configuration for lithium. So when it bonds to other things like chlorine or bromine or oxygen, it will lose this right here. It'll lose this electron. And so this goes to another element when it bonds, and it's gone. And underneath this, we have a full outer shell. The first energy level is full with two valence electrons. So when lithium loses this electron, it becomes positive. And now it has the same electron configuration as a noble gas, as helium. And that's very stable. So either way, you can use electron configurations to figure out the ionic charge, or you can memorize the trend on the periodic table. This is Dr. B with the ionic charge for lithium, and thanks for watching.